We're here at the original Holiday Isle Inn in Isle Mirada, Florida to talk about the Rum Runner. Stick around. <laughs> Can you believe it? We're actually here, finally, in Alamorada, Florida, where the original Rum Runner was created. So the postcard was originally opened in 1969 as the Happy Hula Hut, and then reopened in 1971 as what is now known as the Holiday Isle Inn. So as the legend goes, over 50 years ago, the original bar manager, John Ebert, received what apparently was an excess shipment of rum and other liqueurs that he wasn't expecting. So, Tiki John, as they called him, was set with the task of creating a new cocktail that could make use of the excess rum and liqueurs that had arrived. So he made a drink that was made up of banana liqueur, blackberry liqueur, and of course a lot of rum. And he called the Rum Runner, in honor of the seafaring rum runners that ran through the bottom of the country, as opposed to the top of the country during Prohibition era. And it consists of pineapple juice, orange juice, blackberry liqueur, banana liqueur, light rum, dark rum, and grenadine syrup. Now, we should mention, according to actual old photos of the Holiday Isle Inn, it describes a recipe that consists of just five ingredients and a poor mixture that frankly seems wildly unbalanced. But if you go to the Holiday Isle Tiki Bar today, they claim that the original recipe consists of all the ingredients that we would expect from a modern rum runner. So we're going to stick to the modern interpretation of the original, even though all the evidence suggests that the simpler recipe is the real one. All right, here we go. Let's start with one ounce of pineapple juice, one ounce of orange juice, a half ounce of blackberry liqueur. We're going to use Chambord. One ounce of banana liqueur. We're going to use Jaffard. One ounce of a light rum. We're going to use Bacardi in this case. An ounce of a dark rum. We're actually going to use Gosling's in this case. And finally, a half ounce of grenadine syrup. Now, we're only gonna use a quarter ounce because we're using liquid alchemist grenadine, which is extra potent. All right, let's shake this bad boy up. Now, at the Holiday Isle Tiki Bar, they actually serve rum runners both frozen and shaken with ice. So we're gonna go the shaken route in this case. Let's put the ice in. Let's shake for about 15 seconds to agitate, chill, and dilute the drink. Also, just sounds cool. We're gonna serve this in a stemmed hurricane glass, add some crushed ice, and strain it in. Now, if you really wanna turn things up, rum runners are often optionally served with a float of 151 on the top, so we're gonna do that now with some Hamilton 151. Yeah, baby. Gonna garnish this with a pineapple frond and a speared cherry. Stick a straw in. And there you go, a classic rum runner from the Holiday Isle Tiki Bar. Let's give it a shot. Wow, it's just like I remember it. The blackberry and banana come right up to the front with the grenadine kind of lifting it up. And uh, the rums kind of get subdued a little bit, but uh, that's what that 151 floater is for, to bring it right back up to the top. Uh, super classic for a reason, for sure. So that's the show, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, please consider giving us a like and let us know what you think about this classic cocktail down in the comments. And until then, cheers! <laughs> Rum runners are often served with a 151 floater on the top, so we're gonna kill ourselves now with that. Not so bad. Here we're gonna use Jaffard. Jeffords, I don't know how to say that. Who gives a shit?